Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new video once again on the Life on Autos YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are actually going to be going over the maintenance and service costs of our 2018 Volvo XC90 here. So our particular XC90 that we have here is the 2018 model in the T6 all-wheel drive which kicks out 316 horsepower and 374 pound-feet of torque. So in its trim levels, the trim levels for the XC90 are the Momentum, the R Design, which is basically the full sport one, and the Inscription, which is the top of the line. And then if you live in the United States of America, you will have the Excellence as an option and it is basically a limousine inside. It is absolutely beautiful, same size as all the other ones, but your features, technology, comfort, it is just as like you are driving in a Rolls Royce or something because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and it actually only starts at $105,000 American, so US dollars. In Canadian, I am not too sure on the translation, so I am going to link that right there in the video right now. But I do like to start every car video or anything car related that I do with the overview of the vehicle. And I know that I did make a full review of the XC90, but the filming itself and the sound was not as good as it could have been. So I am going to be redoing that in a summertime condition where I can actually show you guys the vehicle when it's nice and clean and also when I have good filming conditions. So now it is time that we go over the maintenance cost and service cost of the Volvo XC90 of which we paid here and in my opinion it is absolutely ridiculous the cost. So I'm going to go through that right now. So our XC90 here has a total buying cost of $73,605 Canadian. And I will do the translation to US dollars right here below right now. So now starting with the oil and oil filter costs. So we got the oil change and the oil filter change. Um, and we also got the tire rotation, which is free. Uh, you can see the multi-point inspection, the service reminder reset, perform applicable software updates, so they did that. Um, but just for the basic oil and oil filter change, um, that was $272.79. And I do know that they do use one of the best um, oils on the vehicle. Um, because it is a Volvo and they do use their special Volvo oil for it. So now this is the part that really irritates me. The parts for the oil and the oil filter were $79.09 and the labor was $193.70 just for changing the oil in the oil filter. So that is absolutely astronomical to me because basically we could have done that ourselves and only would have paid $79.09 for the parts had we just went straight to Volvo, purchased them, and then we could have just done it ourselves. Now in total, it came to $272.79 for the Line A oil change and oil filter, which is astronomical to me. Now the rest of this service is free, which it should be, and it was because we had squeaky brakes because they went out at 2,500 kilometers. And then we also had um, the issue of both front seat backs loose, and they still are. And they also did say that there was no issue with them when really these seats are really squeaky, and I really think there is an issue with them, um, and they never got fixed when they really should have. So now we gotta make another appointment and go back down there. But moving on now, um, we also had a screw in our tire, so that that was repaired, and they actually went and looked at that just out of the courtesy, which I thought was pretty good of them, which they should have done. But these two things were actually zero dollars for labor as well. Um, but now moving on here to the most important part, our total was three hundred and eight dollars and twenty-five cents. 
So the labor now was $193.70. The parts were $79.09. Gas oil lube, zero. Uh, the sublit amount, zero. And the misc charges was zero. And then our total charges were $272.79. And we also had that 13% HST to add on, which came to a total of $35.46. Now the final service cost of this visit here came to a total of $308.25, which I think is astronomical because who really wants to pay that and is it really worth that for just labor? I understand that the dealership has to pay the service uh, technicians, but still, I don't think the, that uh, people should be paying that and I just think that it is wasting their money. Um, and hopefully that for the next time we just learned our lesson that maybe we don't deal with the Volvo dealership directly for service even though it is probably a better idea to deal with them because they have all the experience uh, with their product but overall um, just so you guys know that that three hundred and eight dollars and twenty five cents um, out the door was definitely something that we were not expecting and if you guys are wondering why the scenery just kind of changed, it went from the garage to inside, and that is because um, my camera died, and of course you can't film a video without a camera, so I had to come inside and use the other camera, uh, the older one, and that is why we, we don't have the best um, quality here of content. But the sound is still top notch because I am using my mic again. Um, fantastic mic, I can't say enough good things about it. But now let's get back into the video. I'm not gonna get too off topic here. So once again, the total service cost from the Volvo dealership that we dealt with came to a total of $308.25. So that is actually everything that I was going to show you guys in today's video. Um, so I guess that, that is going to be our wrap for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, like, and also comment on future videos that you would like to see on the channel, and I will be sure to make that happen. So once again, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate all your support. Peace out.